What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Jedi. welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna take you part two of my steps needed to build a successful entertainment company, DJ company in 2023 and beyond. This is gonna start with step number 14 and take you to step number 21. These are things that are super important if you are looking for longevity and you're looking to build a solid business in the event industry. These are things that I've done and learned by going through it myself, and I've had my business for just about 15 years now. We have accomplished so many cool things. I'll put information on my company in the description field down below. And this is a continuation of part one. If you haven't seen part one, I'm gonna put it over here. Make sure you check that out. That's for any DJ looking to start a business. You gotta check out this video before you get into it because I'm gonna lay out some really, really important steps that are critical if you wanna be successful. This is a continuation of that video, giving you steps 14 through 21. This series or this video specifically is going to have a lot of stuff in it that's going to be geared towards multi-operator systems where you have multi-systems going out. I hate the word multi-op, but that's really what it is. If you are a sole proprietor, you're looking to do big things, just yourself, your team, you can apply almost all of these steps as well. You just might have to adapt them to your world, your business, and the things that you have going on. But I want to jump right into it, and that is having the proper team around you, specifically hiring an accountant. I think if you are going to be successful in this business, you need to have people that specialize in the vertical for what they do, and having a proper business accountant on your team, in your tribe, is so important. They will save you a ton of money. They will help you get your taxes done properly. They will have you avoiding paying money for things that you don't need to pay money on because they will help you with your write-offs, with your expenditures, with your cost of doing business, and make sure that your paperwork is proper so that if there's anything in the future, they're the ones that can help you kind of navigate it if you ever get audited or whatever. They're gonna make sure that you are 100% solid and that will avoid headaches in the future. So if you are starting a business and you don't have an accountant and you haven't gone to school for accounting, you don't understand not just basic accounting, but tax accounting, you need to get an accountant. I'm just gonna say that straightforward. Number 15, we're gonna talk a little bit more about the CRM. We talked about CRM in the other video, but this is where you're going to refine your CRM. You're going to work on automation. You're going to work on setting up a logical flow for people that are in your system that you are working with multiple contact points in terms of sending them messages, whether it's text or email. You're going to work on making sure your process is solid. The creative part of this process, as well as correspondence, all of your communication is buttoned up and that you are able to use the system to help you maintain your relationships with the people that have trusted you for your events. While we're talking about team, while we're talking about events, you're gonna need some help. So you might need to bring on an assistant and whether that's to aid you and assist you while you're on site at events or to help you manage the inquiries coming into your business, to help you network, to help you build the business, to help you do things that maybe you're not really good at, that they might be better at, office responsibilities, or on-site at your events, having more people involved will help you do more things and be just a better all-around DJ. You're gonna need a tribe around you, so whether you hire your assistant to be on-site at your events, to be helping you in the office, or both, you're gonna need some help. And this point is all about bringing on a team. Moving over to the next point in this series is you're gonna to have to work on your network of professionals, your colleagues, the people you are working alongside, the relationships that you have with photographers, the cinematographers, the people that do invitations, and people that work on site and are decision makers at the venue. Try to build relationships with the professionals that can help influence your business and try to maintain them. Take some people out to lunch, learn how you can do your job better from their perspective. Ask them what you can do to help them make their job easier, build your network. That's what this point is all about. Whether it's you, your team, everyone needs to be full throttle on this because the better relationships you have, the wider your network is, the more opportunity that will find its way into your circle, trust me. On that. While we're talking about opportunity, I might as well just go right into this one as our next step, and that is purchase the tools to create incredible content. Now, you can use your phone to create content, but the more tools you have at your disposal, like cameras, 
like lenses, like microphones, editing tools, the more capable you will be and the more content that you'll be able to create and release into the world. This step in the process is about acquiring the right tools to capture and to release content into the world to help you build your business wider and further. Content creation is an incredibly important part of every DJ company. Every DJ should be focused on content creation. And if you are watching this and you do not have this as something that you do almost every single day, you need to start doing it because I can promise you it is a incredibly important part of this process about building your business further, doing more, and just showing the world what you're capable of doing. Content creation for the win this step of the process. Let's move to step number 19, and that is expanding on your existing services for what is in demand and desired in your local market for the events that you are being hired to do. Whether it's expanding to include services like a photo booth, or maybe up lighting, or maybe intelligent lighting, or a stereo tube light, other services, multimedia production. This part of the process is to being aware and being in sync with your market, the people that are hiring you for the events in your market, and what are they looking for. Before you go off and invest in anything, ask the people that you're already working with for their input. Is this something that they're interested in? Maybe even offer it to them at the pricing that you're thinking of offering it at and let them know that you have this on the horizon and you're thinking about bringing it into the fold. Are you interested if we bring it in and see what they have to say? This is a great way to kind of take the pulse of the people that you are working with to make an investment to offer additional services in your portfolio. While we're talking about portfolio, we're talking about events, I think the next step is to really, really define your lane. And it's really to double down on the things that you are incredibly strong at, curating the perfect story and the perfect narrative about what you do and how you do it. Defining your lane and clearly conveying that through your marketing collateral and through the content that you're releasing is a big part of every successful company, no matter what they do, no matter where they are. You need to define your lane. You need to make sure that it's easily understood by people that are looking for that, but even people who might not be interested in that, you want to make sure that your brand, your service, your stuff that you release oozes what you bring to the table. And that's what this step of the process is all about. I'm going to assume that you're doing all this stuff and the phone keeps ringing. The inquiries keep coming in through your event planner software and through your website. You're getting hit up in PM, DM, and email. And the last step in this process is to start thinking about building system number two, number three, number four, or even widening your portfolio with other things that you can bring to the table. I think that is so important. If you're looking to build a company and be successful, make sure that you are crushing it in your lane with all the things that you do and start slowly building system number two and system number three. Start expanding on your world and taking care of the opportunities that you are not able to do because you're already booked. That's where this step will take you to the next level. I hope you enjoyed this video. And again, if you haven't seen part one of this series, I'm gonna put it at the end of this video. And if you have any questions about anything that I mentioned in this video, be sure to leave it in the comments field down below. My name is Jason. I appreciate you sticking with me to the very end. Be on the lookout for more content showing right here on this channel in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Thanks for watching.